This is my composer presentation. I had the opportunity to learn more about Gustav Mahler. A little bit about him. On his early life, he was born in Bohemia on July 7, 1860, and he was born of an Austrian Jewish family. He was the second of 14 children, and his father owned a Jewish distillery. Early on, he had a sense of being an outsider because of his living situation in the country that his family lived in. And because he was a Jew living in the country that they were in. However, he was also brilliant from a young age. He had a penetrating intelligence and had an extraordinary talent for depicting surroundings in music. Although, brilliance can come at a cost, because he was also troubled at a young age. He remembers violent arguments from ill-matched parents, and later on grew distant from his father, and started to be closer to his mother emotionally as well as physically. Physically meaning he had developed a slight limp due to his mimicking of his mother's injuries from his father. Early on in his life as well, death also had an effect, because six of his siblings had died in infancy. Because of this, he was an introspective child. In his early music life, his father had encouraged his talents and he had his first piano recital at 10 years old. Also at 10 years old, he wrote his first composition, which was a funeral march and a polka, which would later go on to typify his style as an adult. When he was 15 years old, he went to go play for the pianist and teacher, Julius Epstein, in Vienna at the Vienna Conservatory. Julius Epstein announced Mahler as, Mahler as a born musician. While at the Vienna Conservatory, he became friends with Hans Rott, who was talented but ill-fated, Hugo Wolf, who became a great song composer, and he became part of the circle of supporters for one of his, her one of his first influencers, Anton Bruckner. During his mid to late life, after leaving the Vienna Conservatory, he began supporting himself. He became a conductor and began unpromisingly with a summer season conducting operetta at Austrian Provincial Theater of Bad Hall in 1880. Because of this, he grew to be acknowledged as one of the greatest conductors of his age. Also because of that, his talent led him to conduct in the cities of Olmutz, Kassel, Prague, Leipzig, Budapest, Hamburg, and, in 1897, the Vienna Courthouse. In November of 1901, he met his future wife, Alma Schindler. Then they, they then got married in May of 1902. They had a daughter, Maria, in November of 1902. Unfortunately, she passed away in 1907, at only four years old. Dur also during 1907, he had to leave the Vienna Opera due to the anti-Semitism faction in the city. As well as in 1907, he was diagnosed with a heart disease that then killed him four years later. In 1908, his family moved to New York, and he began conducting at Metropolitan Opera and became the conductor of the New York Philharmonic Orchestra in 1909. He later moved back to Vienna um, because that's where his heart was. That was a love-hate relationship that he had. But in 1910, he was shocked to find out that Alma was having an affair, which ultimately began his final decline, until he passed away back in Vienna on May 18, 1911. Gustav Mahler's Influence and Style As before mentioned, Anton Bruckner made a powerful impression on 17-year-old Gustav while he was at the Vienna Conservatory. His style, however, had a lot of death notes, a lot of funeral marches in it, a lot of somber music. But it was different because it was unique. Part of that unique aim was partially due to the school of R Richard Wagner and Franz Liszt, which showed the musical expression of a personal view of the world. Due to his personal view, his style of writing songs and symphonies, were more appropriate than the dramatic medium of opera. He also had others influence him and his work. Beethoven, 
Berlioz, Wagner, and Schubert. Beethoven, specifically Symphony No. 6 in F major, because of the pain, death, doubt, and despair. And Symphony, Symphony No. 9 in D minor, because of the introduction of texts sung by soloists and chorus. Berlioz, Berlioz, because of his Symphony Fantastique, because of the building of symphonies with more than the then, then, the then traditional four movements. Wagner, because his music drama, because of the expansion of the time frame, enlarging, enlarging orchestral resources and indulging in an un uninhibited emotional expression. And then from Schubert, certain chamber works by introducing music from his own songs. His musical works. He began his first, music, his first major work at 18 years old in 1878, Das Klagehende Lied, if that's pronounced right, or The Song of Sorrow. Many of his adult styles show throughout this piece, the ardent lyricism, the fascination with nature, and the somber funeral rhythms. rhythms. He had written ten symphonies, technically. His tenth one was finished by a man named Derek Cook, and he produced a convincing performing version of Mahler's Tenth Symphony in the 1960s. Because of that, Cook gave us the insight on what Mahler could have produced if he had lived longer. However, in his Eighth Symphony, he had an extended orchestra so big that it was nicknamed the Symphony of a Thousand because of the vast forces implied. Going back to 1907, his style of writing had changed into more expression of focus. He had more introspection, he had more search for peace than great climaxes, and he used more delicate and, sh and sparing textures. His style of choice was mainly songs and symphonies, because as before mentioned, it was more appropriate to write that, those than dramatic operas. The song that I chose was Das Lied von der Erde. And I really enjoyed this piece because it was a different type of symphony than what we've heard in class. It has six movements, all of varying lengths, and it was just really cohesive between the movements. Each one had its own theme and melody, but they all tied together really well. Mahler mentioned some characters, quote-unquote, from other movements in the last movement, and it was just really neat. The type of piece, in Mahler's words, was a symphony for tenor, an alto, or baritone, and orchestra. A song cycle with alternating movements for two singers. He wrote this work, he wrote Das Lied von der Erde, when he was going through a most, the most painful period in his life. Started in 1907. The song addresses themes such as those of living, parting and salvation. Leonard Bernstein described Das Lied von der Erde as Mahler's greatest symphony. He enjoyed the beauty of the earth from Die Schenesetsch Flota by Hans Bethk and chose the poems to set to music. He completed it in 1909. During these pieces, you will hear at the start of the fourth movement, which is contrast to the middle of the sixth movement. You will also hear peaceful sound being interrupted by a loud sequence, and the loud sequence happens for about 10 seconds.
in this next portion, it's the middle of the sixth movement where we're starting, and as before mentioned, it's in contrast to the start of the fourth. And then you'll also hear a sequence going lower at 43.15. And then these are the words. Thank you.